Hi there. My name's Chris, Topher C on GitHub, and tonight I'm going to talk to you about Rust and the Amethyst framework. I started looking into Rust probably about three, four months ago. Um, I'd previously done a few years development work in Python, a few years in Go, and was interested in the lower level language, mostly to try and get at some of the things that I wasn't, I didn't feel I was really able to do well in Python or Go. And one of those was game development. So I started off looking at Rust, I went through the book, I had a couple of my own starter projects, uh, played around with a couple of the roguelike tutorials that are out there that are quite good for Rust, and then eventually started looking at different game engines written in Rust. I looked at uh, GGEZ, which also seemed quite good, but I settled on Amethyst because of the tagline, data-driven game development. This was new for me. I had never used an entity component system before. And I was very interested in digging into it. So this is a bit of my experience with it and kind of what I've put together in using Rust and Amethyst over the past several months. So um, in using Amethyst, I started off by going through the book. I went through the tutorial, which is creating a Pong game. And Pong not being terribly interesting to me, I started to branch off almost immediately. Almost immediately. So rather than creating paddles, I created spaceships. And rather than moving them up and down, I wanted to build a Newtonian physics system. Uh, and then, of course, figuring out how to actually create bullets and how to shoot from the ship how to track impacts and collisions between ships and lasers and bullets, um, thrust and things like that, and then kind of springboarding off there to a lot more stuff. So over the journey, I ended up creating or building in uh, animations, states, pausing the system, uh, more complex systems to track the overall game mechanics. Uh, learned a lot about cleaning up as well after entities, uh, seeing what's in the game, what needs to be in the game, what's being rendered uh, in each pass of the system, and really kind of pulling it together. So I'm going to show you the game now. Um, it is still quite rough, but I've actually been really impressed that a single developer with practically, well, not none, but very little experience in Rust and no experience in Amethyst was able to put this together over the span of a couple of months with very little time to actually put into it. Um, most weeks, I'd say I was probably able to throw maybe 10 hours into it. So uh, it is actually capable of doing quite a lot, I think, and definitely a lot more than I've been able to do if it's in the right hands. So I'm going to spin the game up now, and I've got a couple of different screens here. Um, so starting off with some basic states, you should be able to see it. So here's the welcome screen, and from here, you go into a menu system, and this is basically just kind of looking through the examples. They have states and a state UI system in the examples in Amethyst. So in looking at that and repurposing it and adding it into the game engine, um, things actually work quite nicely. So this is the Amethyst game itself. So basically you've got the ability for two players right now. I haven't added in the AI yet. Uh, you've got Newtonian physics, you've got the ability to shoot, We've got animations when there are collisions, bullets hit, we're tracking the hull points down at the bottom, and then we've got a score meter as well. So, that's just so now you can see the green ship, uh, the dark ship has got one, or sorry, light ship has got one. The ships are different, and they've got different capabilities, so the green ship is slower, heavier, uh, but does more damage and has more health. The smaller ship is going to be cool, uh, that would be fun. And all in all, you've got basically the ability to actually have a good fight with your friends. Um, as I said, states are also here, so all the systems are paused. We're tracking what's going on everywhere. And you can either go back to resume the game. Everything keeps going from where it was before. Or you can go out, exit to the main menu, and then head right back in. And we've cleaned everything up and you're ready to go. Right from the start of the game. So that's the game. Again, the overall experience with Rust and Amethyst has been really positive. I really like the language. I like the fact that when you build something in Rust, it works and it works well. I really enjoy the entity component system and I'm starting to think about how we could apply that to other data problems, some of the stuff that I tackled more often than not in Python. Uh, and I'm really interested to, to dig further into the system and see what, can ha what I can do um, and where else it could be useful. So this, uh, it's been a great experience so far. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I will drop links for Amethyst for the Paladin repo uh, in down below the video. And thanks very much for joining us. Have a great night.